hello guys in this video we are gonna take a look at the guild functionality so first of all in order to be able to access the guild UI you need to press G key okay here we go you have five ranks each player could have one rank and depends on its rank he could do some sort of functionalities like adding other players or changing other players ranks okay so now let's take a look at the um, user interface so on the upper right corner you will see a button that will allow you to add a new player next to it you will be able to see you, your clan or your guild um, user uh, name and upper to it you will be able to see your guild icon this guild icon could be a customized so, so basically you could use any uh, customized icon and we are going to take a look at how we can change it after a short time okay here we have the public guild node so for example let's try to change it um, let's add have a good day and uh, using this button you will be able to uh, update it next here you will be able to access your um, player um, settings inside the guild for example your player's public node you could change it or you could exit the clan Okay, I'll try to change it by adding a couple of exclamation marks. Here we go. Next, you will be able to see here the um, all the players inside the guild, the player name, its level, and then its class. Next to it, you'll you'll be able to see its rank icon. So if it is disabled, this means the player is offline. Otherwise, it is online. On the bottom of the user interface, you will uh, see the number of online players and the rank of the guild. Okay, if you hover over the right side of the guild, you will be able to um, expand a new additional windows, additional settings windows. So basically, um, here you could change your rank icon by using any public URL for any PNG or JPG icons. And for example, you could have uh, um, a URL for your guild um, page on Facebook or any other social platform. You could suspend your guild and kick all your players outside it using the red button. Okay, so um, cool. Let's try to add a new guy to this guild. Um, here the other guy is located on a separate server instance, but actually everything is replicated across all the instances Okay, so now I am inside the guild with the lower rank So basically I could not add any new guy or kick guy outside the guild So here we can see we can see the updated guild um, note and we can see for example the private message for each player but actually you can't change any player's rank or kick any player simply because we don't have enough permissions okay let's go back to the admin and try to change um, the second player rank i will set it to r1 now we should be able to do a couple of things like kicking um, player outside the clan or actually guild or updating its uh, rank so let's try to kick this player okay here we go it's actually kicked outside the guild okay let's try to take a look at some other fun functionalities so here you could exist the guild before that I will try to navigate to the other server instance here you can see that the guild icon is actually replicated so anyone could see your guild icon okay now I will try to uh, exit the clan okay so far so good the last thing that we are gonna take a look uh, at it is the ranks and its permissions so basically we have five ranks for example the admin can do everything Next to it, we, we will have the R1, rank 1, which actually can add players, kick players, and change um, players' ranks. But it can't actually um, change anyone to admin. 
Next we have the R2 which will be allowed to kick players and add players and then we have R3 which will be allowed to add players only and if you are fresh or newly added to this guild you will have the R4 uh, rank which will not allow you to do anything other than changing your private notes. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on another video.